Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical, back at tabletop number two for a quick little video kind of discussing the Ferro Concepts Slickster rig. All right, it's a plate carrier. It's a very minimalist, slim, low profile, everything you need, nothing you don't kind of rig. And I really like that about it. Uh, this is the current setup. You know, very simple, flat dark earth, obviously, um, super operator. You know, if you operate, it has to be flat dark earth. There's no questions about it. And uh, this absolutely blends in with nothing around where I live. So that's double points for coolness. Um, but on a serious note, it's a really nice setup. I, I do like it a lot. The carrier itself, I believe, runs a little bit over 100 bucks. And then riding inside of the carrier, I have two level 4 ceramic plates by RMA. Check them out. They make... A lot of really decent plates for not too, too much money. Uh, ceramics are always going to be a little bit more, but you get more protection. However, there's pros and cons to that because they are fragile. You know, if I threw this off the table right now, they might chip or crack or something. And the structural integrity of the actual plate, you know, would diminish somehow. And it might not give me the ballistic protection that I'm looking for or that it's normally rated for. Which, in my opinion... I don't know, man. I mean, it's I'm kind of hesitant. I was hesitant for a while to run ceramics. You know, I usually run steel, but you can get into some spalling uh, problems with that. And they're heavy. The ceramics, they're not much lighter. They're a little lighter, but not by much. And I mean, this almost feels the same weight as uh, as some of the steel plates. But you do get a higher ballistic rating with ceramic plates. And, uh, you know, it, pros and cons with everything, guys. There's There's no you know, even trade-off. There's, you can't get anything for free and, uh, there's always going to be some compromise. So the compromise is they're, they're more fragile, but in the grand scheme of things, this will stop more bullets than a steel plate. Plus you don't have the spalling issue where strap metal and stuff can, you know, hit the plate, bullet explodes, goes up in your neck, kills you anyway, you know? So this, that, and the other, who knows? Um, but what I do know is I really do like this plate. Um, it's very slim. It's very easy to put on, easy to take off. Cumberbund. And you're on. All right. Simple plate. Mesh all over the place. It's going to be comfortable. It's going to be breathable. Which when you're wearing something like this, if you've never had experience wearing something like this, especially for an extended period of time, you know, you're going to get hot. You're going to sweat. It might get uncomfortable. But quality Velcro, as you can see there, fighting with it. Um, but I do like the layout. You know, again, super simple, right? There's nothing to it. You know, you got the plates in here. Velcroed shut. On the bottom, you'll notice these two little Molly style cut um, strips. You can attach whatever you want. You know, smokes, tourniquets, uh, some kind of pouch, whatever it is. Um, no admin pocket behind here, but under the cummerbund, you can kind of stuff whatever you want. Or you can add something to it, uh, especially on the outside, because there is Velcro here. So when you have the cummerbund shut, you can add, you know, Velcro pouches and stuff. And yes, Velcro does wear out, but. It's pretty sturdy, it's well made, and if you wear it out, you know, to the point where it's not sticking affirmatively anymore, then you've probably gotten your money's worth out of the rig anyway. Uh, up here, patch panel, you know, who you're repping, name tape, rank, whatever it is, you know, depending on who you are, civilian, military, law enforcement, you've got more little molly laser cuts in there so you can attach more things to it, um, you know, or, or kind of weave something in there with some cordage, you know, radio, whatever. Uh, the shoulder straps, they are not padded whatsoever. They're not, okay? And uh, it's not the lightest rig in the world. But they're adjustable, completely adjustable. And they actually come down into the rear of the, of the carrier. So down here, you can kind of thread them through and adjust for your size. So this is kind of like a one-size-fits-all type of deal. On the back, we've got more Velcro. So again, you can Velcro packs to it. Um, you know, extra bags, med kit, battle buddy stuff. You know, spare bags, whatever for your, your battle buddy to grab off. However you want to set it up. Name tape, cool guy patches. Uh, and the cummerbund, it comes off completely. So it's completely adjustable. No matter how big or small you are, you can cinch this down, uh, loosen it up. 
And it's, I like that a lot because, you know, a lot of times with sizing, sometimes companies run small, sometimes they run big, sometimes, you know, they're, they're, they're just right. You know, like <clears throat> the freaking Goldilocks and the three bears or whatever it is. Um, but I do like this rig a lot. Uh, it's got a lot going for it as far as a minimalistic rig. Now, if you, you know, you gotta be out there in the, uh, in the heat of battle and you need to carry a lot of things with you this might not be the best setup uh, you can always add to it you know you can attach equipment to the play carrier itself also on the cumberbund i know that velcro noise is probably getting annoying bah! you didn't even hear the velcro did you um on the cumberbund each one of these slots it's got four slots on each that wraps around the side and then on the front, kind of, depending on how you have it set up. And each one of these slots will hold an AR-15 mag or any other variety of stuff you want to shove in there. Uh, I believe there's inserts that are sold, maybe not specifically for this, but that will work for this. Um, to maybe you could hold pistol mags, stuff some medical in there, you know, random gear, multi-tool, flashlight, different stuff like that. You can make it work, guys. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And... Uh, you know, for law enforcement and military guys, you're, you're pretty much issued your stuff from what I understand as is. So, you know, you kind of got to work with that. But for civilian guys, you know, we get to choose. And I think if you're looking for a slim, uh, lightweight as far as the carrier goes itself, and then it's all dependent on what kind of plates you run in the carrier, this is a great option. Again, Feral Concepts, this is the Slickster, and it's called that for a reason, guys. You know, it's, it's slimline. It's high speed, low drag, and for a decent loadout, eight mags, maybe run a chest rig on top of that. You know, maybe you only got a couple mags in here, two mags on each side, but you got medical, you got a multi-tool, you got a flashlight, you got this and the other thing, you got chem lights, you got smokes, tourniquets, whatever it is, this will definitely get you by. Um, I am starting to come around to the idea of running ceramic plates, because uh, they're not that bad, and... Uh, they're sturdy enough. I mean, they're made to be sturdy. They got to take some kind of abuse, right? You know, you might be doing barrel rolls and cartwheels and, and backflips and stuff, running up walls. So, you know, they got to be made to take a little bit of abuse, but there's no way they're going to be as sturdy as, uh, as steel. But again, better ballistic protection, no uh, worries of spalling. Either way, it's not about the plates. It's about the, the carrier. And I think for the money, it's very quality material. They're using high quality fabrics, Cordura, uh, the, the nylon, everything, the Velcro, everything is stitched properly. It's reinforced and uh, it's made to carry some weight. You know, this is serious purpose gear. You know, don't go buying a Condor rig or something that's really intended for like paintball or airsoft and then run your, your war fight and stuff in that. You know, if that's all you can afford, then by all means, I have one of those. It's not the worst thing in the world. But, you know, something by a better brand name with better materials that's purpose-driven towards actual firearms and the use of them and defense and stuff like that. Spend the money, guys. You know, especially this could save your life. This could save the life of your wife, your, your loved one, your child, you know. You got to invest in some of this stuff, guys. But I'm really liking it. Again, that's the Feral Concepts Slickster. For what it is, I think it's awesome. They offer it in a variety of different colors. I'm pretty sure black, gray, uh, possibly multicam. Obviously, with multicam, you always got to pay more for it because it's a licensed pattern and all that stuff. But for what it is, guys, I'm digging it. It's adjustable, fits me well. I'm a bigger guy, and it seems like a smaller, you know, smaller carrier, which it is. But it's nice, you know. You're taking a rifle class. You're doing some training, some practice. You're just on the range. You're not so sure about the, you know, the squid billy next to you. You know, it's nice to have some plates on. Um, home defense, all types of different aspects. It's it's very good. Minuteman kit for sure. For sure. All right, guys, think about it. Check out the links in the description box below. Please, please, please um, shop at those links. Check those guys out. They're all awesome people. And a little bit of that does come back to help me and the channel out so I can bring better stuff to you guys, better production value, do more videos, get some cooler stuff, and hopefully eventually give back. And uh, that's the video, guys. Appreciate you guys for watching. We will catch you on the next one. Peace.